Hey everyone, it's Kelly from Here Comes the Sun, and today I'm going to show you how you can easily create an invitation using Canva. So if you don't know what Canva is, it's a very easy uh, graphic design program, perfect for beginners. You really don't know have to, have to know anything like Photoshop or Illustrator or anything like that. It's very easy, very straightforward. So first, if you don't have an account at canva.com, you can go there and set one up. Oh, and also Canva is completely free. There is a paid version that you can use where you get a little, um, a little extra added bonuses and whatever. Um, but everything I'm going to teach you today, you can do with a free version. Okay, so you go to canva.com and you create your account. And your screen might look a little different than mine because my account has already created. But on the left-hand side, you're going to click Create a Design. And then all these different um, pre-made designs are going to pop up. So you can see how many different ones they have. They have social media posts, um, documents, ebooks, marketing materials. But for this tutorial, we are creating an invitation. And they have one right here. It's five by seven portrait. So just click on that. And it gives you a blank template. Now, you can either design your own or come over here to the left hand side and scroll through all the pre made designs that they have. And there's a lot of them that are free, some are paid, uh, but they have really good free ones as well. So I'm just going to scroll down until I get to the one that I want. And this is the one that I used in this post. So I'm going to click on that and it fills um, your document with the invitation. So now all you do to customize this is click. So you can click on the text, you can click on the flowers, and see up here, you can change the color of the flowers. If I want to pick like a light pink or, you know, blue. Actually, that didn't work very well. Maybe you can't change the color of the flowers. Okay, let's try that again. First, I'm going to zoom in, Command or Control Plus, and let's just start with the text. So you click on the text, and then you can change the color. Let's try and change the color of the text, see if that works. If I click blue, oh, got to highlight it. And then let's see, blue. There we go. So I'm going to change it back to pink. Oops. And just Command J if you, or Control J if you mess up. So I'm going to change this text back to pink. And then I'm just going to enter my name and my husband's name. Kelly and Chris. And then I'm going to come down here and click on the date and change the date to our wedding date, which was October 26, 2002. And then right down here, I'm going to, well, that's kind of redundant with the, with the date there again. So I'm just going to erase that and put in the time and date of or the time and place of our wedding. And then if you wanted to add a line of text, because the way this is right now, I think it's kind of plain. Um, if you want to add a line of text, you can just click on um, the, a text that you like, and you can come over here and hit copy. Oops. That copied everything, so I'm going to Command Z to get out of that. And what I need to do is ungroup this. So make sure it's all selected. Come up here and hit ungroup. And now you can copy individual lines. So if I hit copy, and then I can click and drag this right down here. 
and I think I'm going to say join us as we say I do. And then I'm just going to add the name of our church. Church. Let's spell that correctly. All right, there we go. So now when you're all done and you like the way it looks, oh, one more thing. If you want to, you can change um, like the, the arrangement of the flowers. If you come up here and click arrange, you can bring them forward and send them backwards. So I think with this one, I'm going to bring it to the front and maybe this one down here, I'm going to bring that one to the front as well. So you can play around with all these features and change whatever you like and get it however you want it to look. So when you're done, come up here and you want to click to rename your design. So I'm going to call it test wedding invite. And then if you hit download, this is how you're going to save your file. You can save it as a JPEG, a PNG, or PDF print. If you save it as a PDF, you can put um, crop marks and bleed on it. I usually save mine as a JPEG and a PDF. I'm just going to do JPEG right now. I'm going to hit download and it's going to put it into your download folder and then from there you can just move it to wherever you want on your computer. So if we open it, there it is. So if you like this tutorial, you can find more at herecomesthesunblog.net. And if you like this video, please subscribe. Thanks.